Wood bison are North America's largest land mammal. They have historically inhabited Yukon for centuries and were commonly found across Canada's northwestern boreal forest. But by the turn of the 20th century, wood bison were on the verge of extinction. They had disappeared from the Yukon and few were left on their former range. The cause of this change isn't completely understood and their habitat still remained. A national wood bison recovery program began to protect the remaining animals. In the early 1980s, the Yukon decided to join conservation efforts by re-establishing a wild herd in the territory. The Ajak region in the southern Yukon was identified as ideal bison habitat, and between 1986 and 1992, wood bison were gradually introduced to the area. Altogether, 142 bison were brought to the Yukon. A healthy, free-roaming herd of wood bison now ranges throughout the southwestern Yukon. The major challenge for Yukon's wildlife managers is maintaining the population while not jeopardizing the herd's long-term health. Currently, hunting is used as the primary management tool to manage the herd's population. In the past, Yukon bison hunters have typically selected more male or bull bison for harvest than females or cows. Wildlife managers have determined that a more balanced harvest will help maintain a healthy population size. For this reason, hunters are being encouraged to harvest more female bison. And that means hunters should be selective in their choice of animal. Distinguishing the sex of a Yukon wood bison is not easy, but there are clues to look for and signs that can give the hunter a better idea of the sex and age of the animal being selected. All bison grow horns. Calves start to show horn growth within months of their birth making it almost impossible to tell the sex of a very young bison. But as they grow older, males will grow larger than females. Males grow heavier horns, and males show a more significant shoulder hump than females. Mature cows are generally smaller than bulls, but a large female among a group of bulls may appear similar in size. A cow's horns can be quite long. They grow up and out in a younger animal, and as they get older, they will curl back in. Cows' heads are shaped differently too. They are more rectangular or box-like. A mature bull's head has a more triangular shape, and the hump on a bull's shoulders is much more pronounced. A bull's hump stands about a foot higher than that of a cow, and the horns are thicker, especially at the base, than cow horns. Here in this horn grouping, you can see how difficult it might be to determine an animal's sex solely on the horn's size and shape. On mature bulls, the horns should appear massive at the base, tapering steadily to a point that's curled inward. Cow horns are not as massive at the base and grow out in a more consistent diameter than curling into a point. On this smaller animal, the horns are not as fully developed. This horn shape, with the thick base and the quickly tapered point, suggests this is a young bull. Here's another good look at a bison head and horns. The inward curl and not so massive face suggests this is a female. An obvious sign of sex is any visible sign of a penis sheath. One way to be sure of the sex is to watch long enough to see the animal urinate. Males urinate from under the belly and pee in a forward direction, while females urinate from the rear, under the tail, and pee in a backward direction. Waiting and watching for this may take some time, but if the opportunity presents itself, this is the most reliable way to identify the sex of a bison.
there are also behavioral characteristics that can help. Cows often have their yearlings with them, even though they are no longer dependent. But bulls will sometimes babysit calves. Look for other clues to back up your initial assumptions. Young bulls with a group of cows can often be seen checking out the scents under the tails of the cows. Headbutting is usually, but not always, a male activity. This type of sparring is common during the rut or when they are stressed. If you see two animals sparring for an extended period of time, they are probably bulls. These scenes are much more typical and realistic in terms of the conditions a hunting party may encounter in the field. And without the aid of a good spotting scope or binoculars, it may be impossible to draw any conclusions from this distance. A little closer now, we can get a pretty good look at what appears to be a large bull. The horns are thick at the base and taper quickly to a point. The head shape is quite triangular. The big fluffy bonnet or forelock on mature males helps accentuate the triangular head shape. The hump seems quite pronounced, and there's even a hint of a penis sheath protruding under the belly, although with all that winter fur, it's not clearly visible. As he ambles over to that smaller sized animal, what do you see? What physical characteristics can you pick out that might help you distinguish the sexes? This appears to be a young bull rejoining the group. And the one staring back at the camera is definitely a bull. There's no penis sheath visible, but the hump size, horn profile, and triangular head shape suggests it is male. With a large group of mixed animals, it may be necessary to watch for some time until you can be sure of the animal you wish to select and that you can get a clear shot. Now, here in this group of animals, we see a good head profile of that young female. Can we be sure this is a cow? The thin-shaped horns don't have that mass and taper shape that is clear on the animal behind her. Also, the comparative hump size on the shoulders are a good indicator in this case. So, how do you feel about your ability to tell the difference between a bull and a cow? Let's see what you've learned and give you a chance to take a look at a few more bison. We're going to show you 10 images and give you a bit of time to think before telling you about the clues we can see. Two bison. Which one is a cow and which one is a bull? You can clearly see the rectangular head shape and shorter forelock of the cow on the left and the triangular head shape and longer forelock of the bull on the right. You can also see how the bull's horns have larger bases and quickly taper to a point, while the cow's horns have smaller bases and taper more gradually. Two bison. Which one is a cow and which one is a bull? This photo shows a younger bull on the left and an older cow on the right. Note the difference in horn base size and the lack of a penis sheath on the animal on the right. Is this a bull or a cow? Why? This looks to be a young bull. Look at the triangular head shape and how the large bases taper quickly. Also notice the upward pointing horns. Horns pointing out or up indicate a younger animal, while horns pointing in suggest an older animal. Here again we have two bison. Are these two bulls, two cows, or one of each? The one on the left is a bull, and the one on the right is a cow. 
Look at the difference in horn size and shape on two similarly sized animals. What clues might you look at to figure out the sex of the two bison closest to the camera in this picture? The gradually tapering horns with thin bases suggest that both of these animals are cows. Is the larger bison in this photo a bull or a cow? How can you tell? The broken horn on this bison suggests an older animal, and the presence of a calf suggests that this might be a cow. But both the hump and the head on this animal are quite large, which could suggest a bull. In this situation, you would want to get a closer look or an onlooking view of the head to make your final judgment. Here's a good head-on view of a bison. From what you've learned, do you think this is a bull or a cow? The sharply tapered horns with large bases, the large hump, and the triangular head shape clearly indicate that this is a bull. What about these three? Here we have two cows lying down with a younger bull standing in the middle. Again, look at the horn bases, taper, head shape, and the humps. Would you shoot this bison? Is it a bull or a cow? This is a mature bull with a large hump, massive horns, and a large head. Notice, though, how the penis sheath is not all that visible, even at close range. Depending on your situation, Choosing a smaller animal like a cow may make your field dressing and transportation work easier. You may see a collared bison on your hunt. These animals are protected from hunting. But if you harvest one by accident, handle the meat as you would normally and report it to the Department of Environment as soon as possible. It may not be safe for you to eat because of the drugs used to sedate it during collaring. Is this a cow or a bull? The thin bases and gradual taper on this bison's horns and the small hump suggest that it is a cow. So how did you do? Whatever the sex of your quarry, time spent stalking and watching your choice of animal will pay off. The longer you are able to study the bison, the more you can identify about its age and sex. And by choosing a cow, you are contributing to the wise management of this wood bison herd. You may also consider a cow or a young bull because of their smaller size. Any big game animal is a lot of work to deal with, but mature bull bison can be particularly challenging when it comes to field dressing and transportation. So on your next bison hunt, consider a cow. For more information about wood bison, contact the Yukon Government Department of Environment or go to the website www.env.gov.yk.ca